So we may be interested in in looking at this butterfly spread strategy and just observing the impact of changing some of the parameter inputs. So obviously premium change as we change uh, some of these values for parameter inputs. Again, for butterfly spread, the key uh, observation in terms of organization of exercise prices is that the middle exercise is exactly halfway between uh, the lower exercise and the higher exercise price. Um, we could change some of these values, so if we change this to half a year, 0 0.5, and we change the time period to, or the volatility to 30%, and notice these all update in line as we make the adjustments. Uh, we could consider changing the value of the uh, underlying stock, or increasing 110 and again different shapes emerge but broadly the same combination outline will remain uh, the case in other words if we look at the if we link back the purple here we notice that the combination of the, the three positions four options three positions so the two long calls one short call is that the when the stock price goes below 80 the cost of the strategy is 615 and when the stock price exceeds 120 we can observe we revert back to a cost that the strategy payoff is negative 16 in other words you're losing 1615 once the stock price moves out of the range 80 and 120 but in between profit can be made so if the stock price moves between 80 and 120 we get a range of figures that are uh, in this instance here once we reach 90 and once we get to uh, between 90 and 110, 90, 110 we're making a profit here 384 and at its peak when the stock price hits the middle exercise that's when we maximize profits and that corresponds with this apex here and that's of the order of $13.84. Now we can do additional sensitivity analysis and we can investigate the effect of altering uh, the Black Shoals parameter inputs. So in a sense these parameter inputs are largely arbitrary in nature the selection of the values uh, obviously the exercise prices have to correspond to a certain hierarchy that the lower exercise and the higher exercise uh, values it will determine the middle exercise so by taking the sum of these two 80 and 120 and dividing by 2 we get the middle exercise but otherwise uh, other than that we can we could look at the effect of what is the premium what's the impact how much does it cost to set up this strategy how much does it cost to set up this strategy in other words what's the premium one would pay up front when entering into a butterfly strategy so let's take these set of figures here copy and uh, we can paste and just to verify that the cell referencing is still correct 
and we're still using the same um, VBA function. Check in the developer tab, the VBA, so the Black Scholes function, still in operation here. And we could set up a data table where we consider the effects of uh, volatility combined with stock price. So just to have a look at that, uh, set this cell G3 equal to 615. And then we'll consider different levels of volatility. So we might consider 10% volatility, 20, 30, 40, 50. And likewise, we might consider uh, a range of prices. So we could go from 0, maybe we'll go from 10, 20, and pull this down perhaps to 200. So on this axis here, we have stock prices. And on the horizontal, we have sigma. And effectively what we can do is generate the premium associated with each of these levels of volatility for each of these asset price levels. Okay, so to set up the data table, go to data, what if analysis, data table, is this a row or a column? This is a column. And in the original parameter inputs, the column, the reference here is for the stock price. So for the column, we go back to stock price and for the row we are referring to uh, the volatility and the cells fell in. Now I set up a parallel table and the relevance of this we'll see in a moment. So I just set up a set of per Uh, a parallel table and essentially all I'm trying to do here is replicate the table here over this side and then I remove one cell and the cell I remove is the apex cell and so what I have is S yet again S And I have volatility. And then for a volatility of 20% with a stock price of 70, the cost of setting up the butterfly strategy, the premium using Black Scholes will be 125. Okay, so let's run the, let's view this in terms of a, a graph. Uh, go to insert and go to scatter. And we can see we get this type of shape. Now, what do we have? It is basically on the vertical horizontal axis. We have the price. So that price corresponds. That price corresponds with this set of values here, the, the value of the asset. And then for each of the uh, the legends here, the zero point one corresponds with that level of sigma. And the 0 0.5 corresponds, so this set of data here, we just highlight the 0 0.5, which would be this one, that corresponds to this set of, set of data here. So at the 50% level of volatility, what is the cost of setting up the strategies? How do we interpret our chart? Well, we could make it easier to view. And we find that as the volatility level reduces, we get a different shape. So we get a, a more complex, a more peaked shape here at the in the center uh, as we approach the middle exercise. 
but and uh, it quickly dissipates. So as we move outside the range of uh, away from 100, so beyond the 80 and beyond the 120. One way of reading this data, so maybe perhaps put in a, a title on the end. On the line is S. On the axis, we have the premium. We might note that uh, when the stock price is 110, so 110, consistent with a volatility of 30%, this was 615, so we might just look for this. 110, volatility 30% is the green. So come up here to the green, we're about 615, corresponding with this point here. So essentially what we can say here is, if the volatility is low, 10%, the volatility here turns, turns out to be quite low, then the cost of setting up the strategy when the stock price, when the stock price is close, when the stock price is close to, so if we, we think about the 10%, 0 0.1, when the stock price is close to the exercise price, and the volatility is equal to a low level of variation, so 0 0.1, so low level volatility, we peak, we get close to 13, we peak here at 13.62. So low levels of volatility mean unlikely that the stock price will move away from its current level of 100, and of course then the payoff is more likely. But because the payoff is more likely with ex ante volatility being so low, the value of the butterfly position is much higher. If, however, we increase the level of volatility to be 50%, then that changes. If, we, if, we, if volatility increases to 50%, then the chance, the chance of moving away becomes more, uh, it becomes increases, and the value of the butterfly, the butterfly is not such a good strategy anymore because it's quite le likely we could end up out of the money. And so the premium that we have here is based on Black Shoals, uh, reflect that in a consistent uh, manner. If we Again, go for a low level of volatility, <clears throat> so 0 0.1, but now we make the stock price uh, relatively low, so let's say make the stock price at 50. The value of the option falls to infinitesimally small levels. Like in other words, if the volatility is low and we come down here to 50, the chance of being in the money the chance of the stock going into the region where corresponding to this area here, close to X2, is less likely, and so the option then becomes like a lot of ticket, small risk of a big payoff. If we increase the volatility, the value uh, of the premium goes up. In other words, there is now a higher chance of jumping into that region where we would expect a payoff to occur. So close to the X2 is where a payoff would likely occur. This would suggest that the butterfly could be used. So actual prices, premiums from the butterfly could be used to look at ex ante expectations of uh, distributions, how do traders uh, collectively, the market collectively, prices, but also how they uh, envisage the distribution of stock returns, consistent with Breeden and Litzenberger, 1978.